Has your system ever not completed a sit flush because the sit flag was stuck and it didn't fall down to trigger the event? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix this. Often this happens if salt builds up on the sit flag, which is what triggers the tube present or tube absent logic for the software. To get started, you'll need a metric Allen wrench M1 size, some cotton tipped applicators, and some DI water. To clean this out, let's go ahead and open the doors. There are two screws that we'll need to remove from the top of the tube present absent sensor. Once that sensor's out of the way, that sit flag will be accessible and we can pull it out and clean out the area. Let's go ahead and grab our metric Allen wrench, size M1. I'll go in there and loosen up both of these screws. Now be careful while you're working in here not to damage the sample line or any of the cable wires that are in this area. Okay, there's one screw. Don't lose the washer that goes with it. I'm going to set that aside and go back for the second screw. Okay, once that is loose, go ahead and move it out of the way so you can access the area where that flag is hiding. Then grab the flag and pull it straight out, just slips right out like a puzzle piece. Next, grab your DI water and really wash the area really well. We want to flush out any salt crystals that might be up there. And then you can dab up the salt and dirt with those cotton tipped applicators. Now the one I have got pretty dirty. I'm going to go grab a second one and keep cleaning up this area. I'm going to go ahead and do one more flush here to make sure I get this area nice and clean and free of salt crystals. Next, I'm going to wash the flag too and really soak it well with DI water. Make sure I dissolve any little grain of salt that could be on there and wipe it off. Then once I'm done cleaning everything, I'm going to let it dry. Once everything is clean and dry, let's put it back together. First stick the sit flag back into its hole. Just line it up with the slot and it will fall into place. Next, grab your Allen wrench again and you need to align the two screws back into the holes in this mount, then tighten the screws down into the plates. There's not a lot of room to work in here, so if your instrument is off, you can slide the sample line up along the lead screw to give yourself a few more inches of wiggle room. After you've got that sensor firmly reattached, go ahead and pop the tube on and off of the SIP and make sure that flag is moving freely. Then you are ready to go and use your instrument again and that flag shouldn't bother you any longer.